Hello and a very warm welcome on Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. And I feel like something, well, I felt like something motivational today. And who better to read from than from the master of motivation and inspiration, um, Edgar Orwood Guest, who lived from, I always have to look it up, I'm sorry, 1881 to 1959. And he has been called the poet of the people and he presents a deeply sentimental view of everyday life, actually. And he considered himself more newspaper man, which he was for 65 years, um, a newspaper man who wrote verses. Of his poems, he himself said, I take simple everyday things that happen to me, and I figure it happens to a lot of people, and I make simple rhymes out of them. But also from 1931 to 1942, Guest broadcasted a weekly program on NBC radio. And in 1951, um, a guest at your home appeared on NBC television. And he also published more than 20 volumes of poetry. And today I would like to read to you the poem called The Brighter Side. Though life has its trouble, and life has its care, and often its dark days of sorrow. There's always the hope that the sky will be fair and the heart will be happy tomorrow. There's always the light of a goal just ahead, a glimpse of the dream we're pursuing. In spite of the difficult pathway we tread, there's much it is good to be doing. Time empties the purse of the pennies of youth the heart of its innocent laughter, but gives in return just a few grains of truth and the promise of more to come after. There's never a day lived out to the end, however life's tempest may pitch us. But what with a triumph, a joy or a friend, the swift fleeting hours may enrich us. There is so much to do and there's so much to see in spite of the trouble that fret us. So much to wait for and so much to be, if only the future will let us. That life with its burdens and life with its tears and its heart-burning touches of sadness still lures us all onto the end of our years with its friendships, its loves and its gladness. And um, the bright side the brighter side to me is it's a beautiful example of how we should embrace change in life, evolve by dealing with the good and the ugly, and um, knowing there's always a brighter side to everything. And there are things we cannot influence actively ourselves, but we can embrace friendship, we can embrace love in our lives. And um, thank you for being here with me again today, and I will see you again tomorrow. So stay home, stay safe, stay healthy <laughs> and distract yourself from what's happening in the outside world right now. Bye bye.